Yo, what's good everybody? Key here today. I'm going to show you exactly what I would do if I found a beat or made a beat. In this case, I made a beat and I'm gonna show you exactly what I would do if I wanted to start recording to it right away. As you can see, I have an opened FL Studio here. It's completely empty. There's nothing in it. I'm also gonna record vocals and I'm gonna vocal comp and all that stuff. Just a heads up though, there's gonna be some latency, but I hope you can see past that and you can just focus on the actual vocal mix or the vocal recording process. Let's get into it. So the first thing I would do is drag and drop the beat stems into the track. It'll pop up a window. It says, do you want to create audio clips? I would say yes, because what it'll do is it will actually take, if I open up the mixer track, it'll take all the beat stems and place them in the mixer track for you. Um, so that's why you always want to press yes. The second thing, since all this is highlighted already, what I usually do is right click and then I would go to group with above so I can close it. And that way I can make this my record track. And then once I create a record track, I would take this, go here, track mode. Right now it's unassigned. And then I would go to audio track and then I would just go to the insert that's free. In this case, it was insert 12. And now you can see that this track is assigned with this track in the playlist. Once we found that, I would select my mono input, which is, is mic line, line one. one. You, you could probably, probably hear. hear. To a me, we want to turn that off for now. All right, so once mic line one is selected, I'm then going to go back to the beat. I'm going to go up to the tempo. I know this is 126 BPMs. Yep. So that sounds good. Now what I would do is dock this to the left, dock to the left. That way it's open. So now I got my record track ready to record. And what I would do is first add my auto tune, set my key scale to C sharp minor. That's what the key scale of the beat is. A retune speed can, you know, I usually start there humanize we could bring that up to like 30 and then always make sure that use low latency is checked this is where the first use of markers would come in so i would go up here and then i would go to time markers and add one or you can just do option t let's try that so if i want to select one if i want to put that there i'll do option t and then i would probably just do intro first that way we can have the marker whoop right there make sure that the snap panel is turned on and then we'll just say right click at nine input hook let's rename that so obviously i placed the marker there because that's where the hook is if i want to drop in and start recording i would probably start at like seven and a half Wait, it's OG. And that's where I would start recording. Now, this part is totally optional for you. I usually add a vocal chain to the mixer. The reason why I do this is because I like to hear like how it would sound. I just like recording with a vocal chain already present. So what I would do is I would grab Studio Verse. Shout out to Waves. I just love Studio Verse. If you watch all my videos, <laughs> you'll know that Studio Verse is essential to my workflow. If you click full reset, go to local. I have my complete vocal chain preset. These are all the presets that I've made. If you are interested in that, I do have that located in the description. So if you want to check that out, you certainly can. It's called the Waves Complete Bundle. So go check that out if you want it. I usually start with the lead vox clean and then I can kind of switch it up from there. And then if I'm ready to record, you just want to make sure that the arm disc for recording is turned on. If you don't want the monitor external input on, you can actually just switch it off. Actually, actually I, might I might record, record with, with it on. on. Yeah. yeah. No, no, there's, 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 there's too, too much. much. Too much latency, too much latency. Speaking of latency, let's go to audio settings. You can see that I had to up the buffer length to 264 samples, but I think, let me, let me just try. You want it at 128 samples or three milliseconds. That's, That's the, the sweet, sweet spot. spot. All right, and then to record, all you gotta do is press the R on your keyboard or you can press 
this button right here, the arm for disc recording. Pro tip, if you have your options right here, you just wanna make sure all these are clicked on and then you're ready to go. I have lyrics already made. I just have to record them now. Let's give this a go. Yeah. yeah. I don't really play if you know me. God made a way that's OG. Broken chains that's OP. Kill my flesh like OD. Coming in hot. I could probably turn that, turn that down just a little bit. So you can kind of see here, I had the uh, input volume up a little too high. So let's just uh, use the clip game feature to kind of turn it down a little bit. And here's how it sounds. I don't really play if you know me. God made a way that's OG. Broken chains that's OP. Kill my flesh like go dig. I have the master. I think I'm gonna move all this down and then I'm gonna throw the master back on here. I think I'm gonna turn all these other sounds off for now because I must have forgot to export the choir, which is one of the best parts I feel in the song. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lock it too. That way, I, if I wanna solo this, it doesn't turn everything back on if I unsolo it. And how I'm doing this, if you can see, I'm just holding shift and left clicking, boom. Hear that choir part? And then before we forget, let's turn this down a couple dB. Let's check out where we're hitting on the master for the loudest part in the beat. We wanna see this at like around negative six dB. Perfect. That beat is sitting at that perfect spot, which is negative six dB or around there. That way we can record correct volume levels. I don't really play if you know me. God made a way that's OG. Broken chains that's OP. Kill my flesh like go dig. Yeah, that sounded good, I guess. Not the greatest take. Let's try again. <clears throat> I gotta get into it. Woo. I don't really play if you know me. God made a way that's OG. Yeah. I don't really play if you know me. Got me way that's OG. Broken chains that's OP. Kill my flesh like go dig. So this vocal take, first I'll show you what I'm doing right now. I'm switching from the draw tool to the slice tool. If you wanna use your keyboard, you can do uh, C and it'll switch to the slice tool. Very handy when it comes to chopping up some vocal takes. I wasn't a big fan of this vocal take in particular, like the way it sounded. Kill my flesh like go dig. It sounded okay, but I think I could do better. I would just retake every vocal take until I like it. And as you can see, all you gotta do is keep pressing R and it's gonna group every single vocal take. Like that. Sweet. Okay, I feel like there's a different vocal preset that I'm thinking of. It's either drive. Let's try drive. Let's do it. I don't really play if you know me. God made a way that's OG. Broken chains that's OP. Let's turn yeah. this up. I don't really play if you know me. God made a way that's OG. Broken chains that's OP. I don't really play if you know me. I don't really play if you know me. God made a way that's OG, broken chains that's OP. I like that vocal preset. I could sound really good with this. All right, so let's turn, turn this, this back, back on. on. Yeah, hey, I don't really play if you know me. God made a way that's OG, broken chains that's OP. <laughs> uh, I'm getting messed up here. I don't really play if you know me. God made a way that's OG. Broken chains that's so big. <laughs> Let's, Let's just redo that one. Yeah. I don't really play if you know me. God made a way that's OG. Broken chains that's so big. Kill my flesh like go dig. I don't really play if you know me. God made a way that's OG. Broken chains that's so big. Kill my flesh like go dig. Me. God made a way that's OG Broken chains that's OP 
Kill my flesh like go day. Okay, so this is what I would do if I wanted to vocal comp a little bit. I would, I like what I say here for this line, slice this part and not use this vocal take, but use this vocal take. So it sounds like. I don't really play if you know me. Got me way that's OG. Broken chains, that's OP. Kill my flesh like go D, OG. Broken chains, that's OP. Kill my flesh like go D. I think I like that one. God made a way that's OG. God made a way that's OG. God made a way that's OG. Broke. Yeah, I do like that. God made a way that's OG. Broken chains, that's OP. Kill my flesh like go. I don't really play if you know me. God made a way that's OG. Broken chains, that's OP. Kill my flesh like go D. Leaving the 999 just to find a single one. Even healing all the blind when they say it couldn't be done. I don't really play if you know me. God made a way that's OG. Broken chains, that's OP. Kill my flesh like go D. Leaving 99 just to find a single one. Even healing all the blind when they say it couldn't be done. Cool. Well, that was my process. <laughs> Anyway, from here, I would basically just record nonstop until you like the vocal takes. Be picky about that part. You know what I'm saying? Like the thing that I always say about recording is you want to try to get that whole song done that day in one sitting. If you can dedicate that time to making sure that that vocal take sounds good through the whole song, you're setting yourself up for success. Because a lot of times when we come back to a song, it doesn't sound as good. It's hard to come back to, and that's why songs don't get finished. So don't be me in this case, finish the song. You can do it. We'll see you in the next one.